My name is Annie Perrault. Uh, I teach in uh, Jean-Jacques Bertrand School in Farnham. I've uh, been teaching English uh, for a while. I teach English uh, core and enrich. This year, secondary four and five, but uh, technically I have taught all levels except officially secondary two. The students' level is advanced, I would say, at 90%. Uh, some of them uh, still have a hard time with uh, vocabulary because they are only immersed in English with the two periods that I have every week. I'm really comfortable with using iPads and applications and uh, different things like that. I would say like maybe one more thing that you should do is before actually using any apps or any computer website, play with it. Play with it a lot. This way, if you encounter any type of problems, you'll know what to do. If something goes wrong, I don't panic because you, you, anyway, you, even though you do, uh, it doesn't change anything. Uh, so you need periods to adjust. You always have a buffer period. Yeah, you need a plan B and sometimes a C. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and stay, stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. Uh, we have two uh, sets of iPads. Uh, we have 34 or 35 per, per set. And uh, I think last year or this year, at the beginning of the year, we bought another 16, half of a class. We have three computer labs, uh, and in each computer lab, we have 33 or 34 uh, running computers. You need to plan ahead of time just because here in the school, there are a lot of teachers who actually use the computer labs and the iPads. What I wanted to do basically was for them to discover uh, playing with words and the fun of playing with words. So when you write poetry, you don't have 10 lines to express your idea. You need to be specific, concise, synthesize. Poetry can be fun if you make it fun. So what I did basically was to create this project and what I started with was just like uh, recite a poem about pizza, which was like basic, like really, it's not a stupid idea, but it's a fun idea. I'll just listen okay, to this amazing poem, which I have found, and it goes like this. Pizza, oh pizza. That's the point. Pizza, oh pizza, I have to confess. When pizza's for supper, I always say yes. It's great for your breakfast. It's great after school. It's great when you're sitting outside by the pool. Pizza, oh pizza, the love of my life. I eat with my fingers. I don't use a knife. It goes on my shirt, my chin, my face. Tomato sauce dribbles all over the place. Pizza, pizza, the food I adore. I finish one pizza and I want more. More mushrooms, more wonderful cheese, salami and bacon and ham, if you please. Pizza, oh pizza, the food I love best. I'll order a jumbo. Please come as my guest. So come to my table, sit down on a chair. Pizza is even more fun when you can share. Wow. Now it's your turn. So you are going to have to write a poem. So I gave them the instruction. There's a document that they had to work with. Mm -hmm. Write any ideas that would come up, pop up, like brainstorming about any ideas. And then focus their ideas. And rhyming is difficult in French or in English, because this is a French school. So uh, I gave them iPads. They could use the iPads. And with the Rhyme Zone, it's on the internet, it's a website, uh, they could just find the rhymes. And then using Rhyme Zone, what's fun about it is this, if you just click on the word, you have the definition or synonym or an antonym, or they know what 
the word means. So it's easy access, it's fast. They, they had fun writing it. Uh, afterwards, when the poem is finished, um, what I asked them to do was to use a Spark video, or you could use a book creator, or you could just use a voice recorder, whatever. And since is on an app on an iPad, they can re-record if they don't like their voice, they don't like the intonation, they, they hear a background noise, whatever. I believe in you. I'll be that student one day, the one I know I'm capable to be. I promise, nothing will get on my way. My life of procrastinator is behind me. And they, put, they could add pictures to it. And the apps, what it does is it creates the video by itself when they're done. So they don't have to count, cut, uh, focus, uh, whatever. They just wrote their poem. That's it, with their own iPad, with the dictionaries and stuff. When they were done, then I took the time to explain the, the application, Spark Video. If you want to record, okay, you select the image first, then you have to press on home to record, and now it's recording my voice, okay? Afterwards, home to re-record, so if you press, you can listen to it, if you don't like it, you hold to re-record over the voice. So for each image, you do it one at a time. So either you just put one image and you read the full verse at once, or for one stanza, you can put two images, three images, and the whole thing will do it by itself. When you record yourself, you need intonation, you need to use expression. So even though you mimic like I do all the time, Okay? You won't have that. It's only your voice. So you, your voice is really important. Okay? You remember in French when Julie um, explained to you how to read a story to the kindergarten students? It's the same thing. Okay? Because the only thing we'll do is we'll be using our ears and our eyes to watch the images, but the whole thing will be portrayed with your voice. You good? And then, uh, because the uh, microphone picks up the surrounding sound, they needed to find a quiet place. And since those groups are really quiet, I knew I could trust them to uh, go around in the school somewhere. And One other thing I asked them to do, if they could, was to bring an earphone with a little microphone. This way, um, the voice is picked up better and it records better. And then just using AirDrop, I would just, they would just uh, give it to me using AirDrop on my own iPad. What is AirDrop. Annie's iPad. Yes. Yes. Waiting. Costco. <laughs> it should be better than the first one. Good. It's not going to spend the whole class watching all the videos, otherwise they get bored. But four or five at the time, beginning or at the end, it gives them uh, a bit of an incentive and then it gives me time to uh, correct them uh, as they go. The added value of using technology, I think they are so used to use the technology in an everyday situation. However, they don't use it in a proper way. They use it for social networking Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, stuff like that. But actually, in the real world, concretely, they have no clue. They don't know how to use it. So we have, as teacher, to be able to teach them how to use it in a proper way, in a responsible way, in an intelligent way. Tonight, I saw a place in my dreams, a ground that was magic, as crazy as it seems. I dreamt of a boy saying, come to Neverland. We flew to an island and discussed in the sand. The boy said his friend is a fairy, told me we were now in another galaxy. He said all the children here will never grow old, amazing adventures in the stories he told. 
That boy, I believe, came from a book. As I read, I even found a little laughter. It's a wonderful story. Come on, take a look. Perhaps I've discovered my own happily ever after. And the next morning, as I woke up, my window was open and a shadow stood up. It flew away to the second star to the right. I hope I'll see him again when I say goodnight.